If John just dominates in grappling, you'll be sucking a fat one indeed. That'd be a sad reality. I just don't see it happening because he hasn't done it in years. I just want him to lose as well for the uh, fans of him to just... Sh they're so cringy. They're so fucking cringy, dude. The fans of John Jones in the comment sections... They're getting so annoying watching them type about him. Like, are, they, are you gay for him? What are you talking about? God, Jones is just a, a fucking, he's just a robot built for destruction. I'm seeing comments like that. Like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Reyes beat him. You know what I mean? Like, it's, these fucking comments, dude, it's so sad. Like, yeah, he, he ain't going to invite you to his birthday party for typing that about him. Actually, he might do. He's that type of guy, so who knows? Laura said Shavkat has nice lips and a sexy aura. No joke. No, he did. She didn't say that. I was watching the way in show. Thank you for the two euros. Pinion on one, 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 one. Pick one. Jones or Islam to get flatlined next fight. Jones. I just think Makashev's more fun at a press conference than Jones. Do you think Hill could beat John? Yeah. Yeah, I do. No. I don't know. Maybe chat, right? Am I off in saying that Hill's got a decent chance at beating John Jones? I think he does. He's got a weird ability to get back up. I don't see Jones taking him down and keeping him down. Hill's pretty good. Good chin, good pace, good pressure, good size. I think he could beat, uh, beat Jones. It'd be a close fight, but it'd be, he'd be like a... I Forget whether or not you'd win. He'd be a good underdog because he would be an underdog. He'd be a good underdog. It'd make me consider picking him for sure. I don't know if I would, but it would make me consider picking him for sure. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. I appreciate you, XYZTUV. In Jones's recent interview, he was talking about seeing his wife in the crowd during weigh-ins. They're back together. Oh, God, she's got Stockholm Syndrome. How does it, How does he always get her back? She's, like, beaten into a, you know, like a subdued state. You know what I mean? He's beat some CTE into her, so she can't make good decisions anymore. Like Diego Sanchez coming back to Joshua Fabia. Look at Brooklyn Wren, Jesus Christ. Uh, the fact that we might get two heavyweight title fights in one year seems crazy. I know, it's been a while. Thank you for leaving, Francis, indeed. Thank fuck for that. Francis leaving. Thank fuck for that. Jesus. <laughs> God, that would have been stressful. Did you see what he said about John Jones? He said, like, oh, I feel like we would have teamed up. You know what I mean? Like, I know the UFC would try and put me and Jones against each other, but, you know, I feel like me and him could have teamed up against them. Like, oh, my God, thank fuck he's gone, you know? Honestly, thank fuck Nganu's gone. Imagine the fucking bullshit, dude. What a fucking Karen. Am I wrong? Francis was a bit of a Karen. Like, just fucking do your fucking job, dude. You've never wrestled, clearly. Shut up, you loser. Jesus Christ, what a fucking pussy. Thank you for the $5, 420 gel bars. I appreciate your $5, dude. Jones cleared of accusations. Why did he need enhancement pills to begin with? Lowell can't imagine a late 20s, 30-year-old man would have ED naturally. He's only a peak athlete. Jesus, that belly on him. Jesus. Yeah, your wife beat her. Yeah. Jesus, that belly's looking bigger than the weigh-ins. Maybe he cut weight for the weigh-ins. 